Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, we're back. Hey, you didn't even give me a Okay, where is it? Uh, when you went to me... Oh, okay. So, right when I got there... We can start the new episode so quick now. Yeah, I know. It's so nice. We I don't have to... click stop and click start. We don't have to go it's just so one, two, three, four. Nice. Elliot's super happy today. Today's a good day uh, for Elliot. Today's a great day. It's fucking sunny. <laughs> Not anymore. It kind of is. You can fucking see the sun. Well, we see the blue sky, but I don't see any sun. We don't see the blue sky. We're in space. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, it's fucking nice, dude. It's nicer. We should take a break and go on the space balcony after this. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the little bit of Yeah, but... It's fucking nice. When I drove over here today, I, I was actually in a really pissed off mood when I was driving. Yeah, uh, I, I called him a fuck face. Well, what happened was like when I, I was... called him an uphill gardener. Oh, that wouldn't piss me off, Elliot. I, I'm used to you saying stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go say hi to Mr. Barrel real quick. And then I'm gonna get some money somewhere else. This is like your fucking waterfall thing. No. I'm on an adventure! I talk to barrels! Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm Elliot. I have no imagination. I'm not... I don't... I'm super, like, uptight. And I'm not, not an open book at all when it comes to talking about things with women in workplaces that could get me fired or put a sexual <laughs> harassment claim on me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, huh. hold on. I'm I'm Elliot. I'm not creative at all. I I watch. I'm gonna come up with this story. Uh, um, 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 one one time. Spin um, that booty. One time, I, I was a squirrel and um, I, I was in water and I had a tail, and, and it flapped around and um, and I jumped and um, 360. <laughs> if I had an imagine, if I didn't have an imagination, could I just imagine that right there? Huh, that sounds pretty imaginative to me. Hey man, I didn't say you don't have an imagination. You did. <laughs> yeah, Elliot. <laughs> you fucking fucker. <laughs> Are you acting like me? Oh, the money's not here yet. Oops. Oh no. Oh, Thar is that how you get that money? Yeah, dude. Thar, guys, I just wasted your time. All right, let's go say hi to Mr. Barrel real quick. Uh, okay, camera, you're gonna cooperate, right? Come on, camera, cooperate with my butt. The camera has never hey, bothered me like this before. Yeah. Do you have anything else to you'd like to discuss? Oh yeah. So um. So here's something that happened at the party. God so damn, now I was hoping you'd say no, so I could give you a subject. Oh really? No, <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. Who are those guys? Oh, hello there. Yes, is that your party? Uh, Dude, it's a fucking uh, Donkey yeah, Kong man. barrel. But he's pretty alive. cool. Um, so, right when I got to the party, uh, uh, people were watching the My Little Pony movie, and I sat down next to my buddy A, and, um... Don't call your buddy an A. Do you ever, like... <laughs> <laughs> do you ever go to freaking like, parties or just hang out with a group of people? Do Get you, crunk! Do you ever have, like, people with you who, like, Get during... Fun. See, the thing is, because it was a fan party, it was a fan meetup event, when we were watching the movie, People just throughout the film would just yell something out or just say something out loud to be funny. I did it from time to time and other people did and you know it's, I smell my dog's butthole when no one's looking. It's not like we had to be completely quiet during the the movie, but uh <laughs> one of the guys there were like a few people who kept like trying to yell something out loud and be funny and whenever they did, nobody would laugh. So they kept repeating it over and over and over to try and get the laugh. <laughs> Now that's, uh, that's don't you hate that? Nova. That's it was so that's annoying. That's Nova, dog. It's like it's like when I came in. Um, th there was a part in the movie where w one of the characters was tricked into thinking he had a disease, and he said, oh, "What do I do?" And I yelled out, "Wear a condom!" And everybody laughed. It was really funny. Mm -hmm. And throughout the rest of the film, just one or those one or two people would just like keep yelling out, "Hey, the he should have just said it was the Aurora Borealis." Nobody laughs. Five seconds there. He, he should have just said it was the Aurora Borealis. Five seconds there. God, did you hear? It should have been the Aurora Borealis. Did, did you hear me? And eventually I was like, yes, I fucking heard you. I didn't say it like that, but I was like, yes, we heard you. Just, I know. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Those are yeah, 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 people. Yeah. I hate that girl. I mean, I, I'm, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say that I have also... <laughs> had my socially awkward moments, like you especially. Don't say now, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Inside joke. Tickled my fancy. <laughs> and my gonads. Watch the Banjo Tooie episode, There's part fifty-nine. Wow, really? Yeah. 
Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not even... Well, okay, it'll be out by this point. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Beaver. No. Shut up, bitch! Hey, I got a text message. Oh, from here. ETA, 520. Jen is coming home at 520. Oh, cool. Wow. She gets to come back to her delightfully intelligent boyfriend and his delightfully Her cuckold of a boyfriend who doesn't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> I was totally kidding about I know, that. I know. I'm just uh, no, I'm telling the audience. I know, I know you know. What, you think that we don't have good communication? Yeah, we don't. I'm just clarifying it. Okay, I'm just going to say this part. I don't of, even live here. This freaking subplot. We're just recording here because you showed up here. This freaking subplot of the game is just brilliant. I just want to say this is so... When I first played this game and I saw this was the reason the bad guys are doing what they're doing, this is like Monty Python level brilliance right here. This is just so smart. Chris Saver, you get a high five and a trophy from a uh, slick frame. Oh, I'm so smart. S -M -R -T. <laughs> I'm so smart. That's from The Simpsons, right? Yeah, dude. How you doing? I'm a dung beetle. I talk like this, you know. Cool, but overall the party was good. Yeah, no, dude, the party was good. It was it was just fun to see A, and it was fun. I, I actually ended up telling some of the people about our show, so maybe they're watching right now, but maybe hey, what not. Up, parties? Um, what up, you hot bronies? Oh, yeah, so I did end up getting to talk to... I did, I did end up showing them some of the funny parts from our show, and we got I got a lot of laughs from them. They absolutely loved it, and... I showed them the bit where you were like, Hey guys, it's me, James. Have you guys seen the new My Little Pony? And they, some of them thought it was really funny, and one or two of them was like, Wait, he, he's not actually like against bronies, right? I'm like, No, of course not. Why would I be friends with him if he was against bronies? <laughs> That's what James thinks. I fucking hate bronies. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, okay. I don't have I, fucking... I thought, I I thought have... you were ending the video. No, I was just being awkward as fuck. That would have been such a funny ending. Um... Here no, I don't have fucking anything against Brent. Why would I fucking care? Yeah, no, you're you're one of the. I watch fucking like weird shit, actual weird shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, you know, uh, <laughs> I like Metalocalypse. I like the episode where they start with "Let the ball removal begin," and Whoa. they're playing a benefit concert, and they're just chopping off cat and dog's balls into a tube. Wait, are you dead? A, are you dead, sir? Yeah, they have like a, an automated guillotine machine that just chops off their balls. Okay. And they're doing a benefit <laughs> concert for like uh, neutering yeah, and spaying your cat and dog. So uh, Elliot told me about Metalocalypse several years ago. That's like one of his favorite shows, and he keeps saying, "Dude, when you, he, I remember you tried, you you told me about one of the parts, like when they go to the grocery store, and you were first like, episode, and you were like, dude, it's so funny, and I wasn't laughing as hard because I didn't quite get the humor, and I could tell you were like, dude, wouldn't you think that's funny? And I'm like, I'm, I was I was thinking in my mind, like, I'm sure it is funny. I just don't get it. I hope Elliot doesn't feel bad. <laughs> but that was your. It's also not ago. everyone's cup of tea. Oh no, I, I I watched a bit of it online and I was oh. like, oh, okay, this looks pretty funny. So yeah, no, we, we gotta watch that sometime, dude. Yeah, we should. I love <gasps> I think I'm gonna buy it on Blu-ray. Dude, Donkey Kong reference. Uh, th this always reminds me of Donkey Kong. Do 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 um, really, I, I, we may have talked about this before. Books? Um, yeah. I don't think so. so, really, the only book I, mean, I ever generally read is uh, The Tao of Pooh. What? Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Yeah, I've told you about this, right? It, Not on camera, at least. Oh, oh. I don't think so. Well, it, it's about, um. The Way of Pooh. Drink, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? so fucking funny because we're in a poo themed level. Look, there's shit everywhere. So the fact that I coincidentally said the Tao of Poo may have made you think I was talking about fecal matter, but I wasn't. I was talking about Winnie the fucking shit. Anyways. Are you on new medication, James? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Elliot impression. I am. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, actually, it's funny. I wasn't even trying to impersonate you. I, yeah, I figured, I, I figured. You're just being a goofball. <laughs> being a goofball. But, you know, it's 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 a really interesting book because it talks about Taoism and it uses Winnie the Pooh, examples from Winnie the Pooh to explain it. And Because apparently Winnie the Pooh is kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, right. That makes sense. Um... 
But yeah, before, before I talk about that a little more, I want to hear from you. Like, are there any books that you read? Because I don't... Yeah, I do read from time to time. Not a shit ton, but I'm trying to read more. You have a Lord of the Rings novel over there. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm Paperback. reading. Yeah, I'm reading The Fellowship of the Ring. Nice, the first dude. Lord of the Rings book. Awesome. Because um, I've only ever seen the movies. And I've read, like, bits and pieces, but I've never read them, so I'm, like, oh. actually reading it. For some reason, I assumed that... You had seen the or read the books. Nope. I don't know why. Nope. The ground's twitching again. So I'm reading them now. But generally, I like to read nonfiction books. So and I like okay. to read uh, biographies, whether they're autobiographies or just biographies, mm. biography biographies about like rock stars and people like that. Like I read a, a biography about Ozzy Osbourne. I'm reading uh, a biography about Slash. Um, Slash. Yeah. You know he he he. He was in a Phineas and Ferb music video. Oh, was he? <laughs> yeah, but for Phineas and Ferb the movie, they uh, they they made an original song and they had Slash <laughs> play the guitar. It was a rock song. Yeah. And he. What? Slash in a rock song? He he uh he comes in all live action, but then he <laughs> uh, yeah, this part's freaking hard to control because he's like, yeah, it's almost like actually riding a bull. Um, he he comes in all live action, then he goes up to this. I don't know, guitar amp or whatever, and he clicks it to animate, and then he gets all animated. And <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. Basically, you've been reading about him and other uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I like reading about rock stars because they have crazy ass lives. Yeah. Do some drugs, and then suddenly they're famous, and they're, they get musical talent and all that shit, and yeah. <laughs> it's nothing but drugs. Nothing but drugs. <laughs> No talent at all. Not it's at all. It's just the drugs. Drugs that's the make you play guitar good. Kids do drugs. <laughs> Life tip from the goobs. <laughs> Damn, you dragged that out. <laughs>